So I think what's helpful here at this Actrams meeting is that we've got new data which is good news for alumtuzumab and should be very reassuring to doctors and patients and regulatory agencies when reviewing when and whether alumtuzumab should be given. So specifically, we have data now that comes at two years after the end of the two-year studies, so four-year data. Most patients have just had the initial cycle of alumtuzumab, which is five days of infusions, and then they will have had a second cycle at month 12 of three days of infusions. And most of them have had no further therapy, so we're looking at three years after the last treatment, and yet patients still have, on average, a disability that is better than at baseline, still improved. They have a low relapse rate, and a low risk of acquiring new disability. And there is no new safety concern. So all of that is very reassuring, and it encourages us to say that alumtuzumab is a durable, effective therapy. Now over and above that, we have one other piece of really exciting data, which is looking at brain volume. So in the pivotal studies for year one and year two, we saw that the brain volume of patients treated with alumtuzumab had shrunk by far less than the brain volume of patients on beta interferon. So already in two years, alumtuzumab was preserving brain tissue. Now, at this meeting, we're presenting the three-year data, which shows that the rate of brain atrophy is now equivalent to a normal, healthy adult, implying that alumtuzumab has really turned things back so we can say to patients now, if you take alumtuzumab, this will prevent tissue loss that otherwise would have occurred.